As Waldo feels the anesthesia wear off his body, the loopiness, the deluded and almost fantasy-like lucid state that he was in for the past few, dare I say, almost day and a half, he is augmented. He is stronger than ever before, capable of taking on the hardships of the world in a whole new degree. Before he was not even able to move tables, basic furniture, or wardrobes without either breaking his back, or barely moving, or just not moving it at all. But now, everything is easier. There's almost no strain. It's as easy as the day-to-day -day fe features, due to his very own muscle augmentation that he was very so lucky to add onto his body. By pure chance, maybe the cataclysm itself has altered a few things to benefit him in his favor. Who knows how deep the roots run, because it seems that lab has been compromised. When he got out of his biological and bionic augmentations, he bumped into some abhorrent monstrosities. A giant flaming eye attacked him, destroying the building that, well, the area that he was in, per se. And that area will need to have clearing out. But not right now, of course, because he is still healing from his surgeries and, of course, dealing with a faulty bionic. Who knows what kind of damages that has caused. But he is still alive. But as he comes out of his stupor, he notices that Onyx has had a kitten. A very small kitten. It's still a little bit untrusting of Waldo, of course, because, you know, it is still very young, after all. But... The cat hasn't attacked him, nor the kitten has attacked him. And Waldo would like to at least tame this little beast in order to have more uh, of these adorable furry friends and to help him along his way. Because Onyx seems to be a mother, not a father. <laughs> but other than that, though, Waldo has much to do on his base because now the hardships and the physical labors have been reduced. It's about time for him to make this place actually secure. Other than that, welcome back to episode 27 of Waldo Worthless. I am going to make this intro very clear. This is the base upgrading episode. Yes, we are going to be trying to tame the kitten. Do not worry, it is going to happen as soon as humanly possible. It's just that right now, there's a lot of things that need to be done. A lot of important things that need to be done. This base isn't going to upgrade itself, right? We, we still have a lot of windows that can be broken into. We still have no pits. We need to add pits out here, stuff like that, right? There's still things that we need to do. And I would like to get to it. So, if for those who want to skip this episode, because uh, I'm not going to lie, it's like a 50-50 like for us taming the black kitten, because I will be mainly focusing on base upgrades. This base needs to be safer for longer-term survival. That's just... The truth. I hate to admit it, but that's just the truth. But yeah, other than that though, everybody, it's going to be a longer episode, but it's all going to be base upgrading. So other than that, it's going to be a speed up here, and I'll see you all when it's done, or when we find a creature that can maybe tame the black kitten. Uh, well, about that, it seems that somebody knows the base needs to be upgraded. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, let's just go slow here. What the hell? Um, well, about that, when I was saying we needed to upgrade the base, well, I meant that... As soon as fucking possible! What the f What happened to my base? I know I don't have a lot of equipment on right now. I just want to know what is going on in our home. Okay, uh, yeah. That is an insane coincidence. That is crazy. It's f the cataclysm warning him. This is the, I, I, where the fuck did these zombies come from? They were they weren't around us last episode. That's for damn sure. What? Oh, we also got a shotgun out of that. That's pretty nice. I'll definitely take that. Um. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm not like it's not nothing dangerous, so I don't really care. But it only just proves the point that yeah, this base kind of needs to be upgraded. It's a little bit uh, you know, wide open. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not liking that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why the black kitten tried to attack Onyx, but uh, I'm gonna be very f mad to say the least if uh, if something happens. But we are gonna have to sleep because yeah, just so we can rest up a little bit. Uh. Okay, well, we have a portal, and it's gone, just like that, okay? All right, not a big deal. Another portal storm has passed while while those asleep. Oh, please don't tell me Onyx got owned by the cat. I'll be very upset about this if that is exactly what happened. Okay, it seems like the cat is just running all over the place. Very annoying. All right, we're also going to do a quick little run around of our base because it seems that there is a little bit of a wandering horde nearby. Very small, mind you, but nonetheless very real. Okay, so it is true that there were zombies moving around here, it seems. Very odd. Uh, I am going to be looking for creatures as well, like just like uh, any animal that we can butcher, stuff like that. Because we need the meat for the kitten. A great oak. What the hell is a great oak? Well! Oh, no, no. Come here, motherfucker. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. And just like that, give me the full butchery. Thank you very much. We absolutely needed this. So now we can tame the kitten. Very nice. I did not, I thought that would be, uh, no, we're not going to walk into the water. Thank you very much. I very much like my medicine. It's very nice and handy and beautiful. Okay, so it's a lot quicker. We got the kitten. We got the kitten. Yeah, let's activate the smartphone. Let's eat some more meat. And now let's make some cat food. Beautiful. Activate the cat food. Oh yeah! Just like that, baby. Alright, do we have any ropes? Because we know what's exactly what's going to happen if we do not, you know, uh... Keep it safe, per se. I'm just going to- I'm just going to keep it at that. Because I know very well, uh, what can occur with animals in this game. Trust me. It's a real shame, but for the safety of everything else. Uh, give me that rope, actually. There we go. All right, let's activate the rope. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And then we'll just pretend like it's not constrained to the wall, but... In case we ever turn on the brazier, I'm worried about cats running into the fire, okay? And this little bugger, I actually don't even, I, I had a name for him. Ah, <gasps> uh, is it a Z or an S? Oh god, ah, whatever, you know, if, if it's a fuck up, it's even better. Black Quartz. You know, we got, we got ourselves Onyx and Black Quartz here, you know? The little, the little fur balls of awesomeness. Not the greatest at naming animals Waldo is, but nonetheless. Huh? Okay, oh. Okay, because it was leashed. Oh, God. Okay, keep them there. Whoo! Black Quartz and Onyx are now safe. 
Hell yeah. All right. So that is really, really good. We can make pickled meat? I mean, why not? That's actually a really nice one. But yeah, other than that, though, back to the speed up here. My apologies, everybody. I'm just, uh, that was a lot quicker than I thought, and it's done. Just like that. Boom. All right, we got ourselves a tough zombie. We're gonna beat his ass with a baseball bat right now, just to test it out. Not bad. So there are zombies heading towards our base, it seems. Like, unironically, it seems like we are being slowly besieged by the enemy. Which is, I guess, okay. I, I don't really mind. There's not much in here that I really give a shit about. Like, this stuff, I just want the the wood, right? So this is, like, some planks, which is good for building. That's really it.
Uh, oops, did not mean to punch a zombie, but that zombie was literally dead. That was super weird. Okay. I was just walking, and then I just walked into a fucking zombie. Great. Love that shit. Oh, great. Well, this is why we had to do this, because now, clearly, this place is actually getting, like, besieged. Which is kind of oh, an incredible timing, because I was like, oh, yeah, this would, be, this would be a really chill episode to fucking upgrade some shit. And then here we are, fucking fighting for our lives, as per usual. All right, let's give me a plank. Let's just slap a plank right here. Because that's where all of our planks are going to put. We're going to put like a... Oh, I should put a door here instead then. Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll get to that whenever we can. Actually, about that... We can just do this. Ah, I don't want to break that. Not yet. Let us build a door. Right there. I need a sawing tool. So, do your sweet game. Give me the saw. And we can just keep all this stuff on us as we are slowly doing this. Fine, it's fine. It's just a little bit of damage. That's what I was worried about for the base, by the way. That. Uh, but luckily enough, we got lucky as fuck. Uh, fine. It is perfectly a okay. Also, the, a lot of a lot of the support on this building is is super fun. So. Uh, what? No, 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 let's stop hauling. What the f- Where did you come from? I mean, again, I don't mind you're really, really hurt, but nonetheless... This does not give me a good sense of, of comfort. I was worried about the cats being attacked, goddammit. <sighs> this game knows how to put paranoia into people, it's disgusting.
Okay, we got ourselves another little invader. This one was actually pretty fucking tough. I wonder how the hell they're all getting here, and specifically why my stupid ass kitchen. Bastard. Whatever, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Alright, boom. What the fuck? I have no idea what the hell that was about. Whatever.
Alrighty, everybody, a change of plan since Waldo is running out of food at a exponential rate. We are going to try and do a little bit of a hunt. Well, a little bit of a hunt, I mean quite literally the biggest hunt he's ever going to do in his life. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to do it in the car. I think that's going to be the smartest choice. No, 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 I want something fully automatic. Do I? I could just close the doors if things get bad. It is about as fast as you. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. We need that meat, boy. I'm so sorry, but we need that meat, boy. All right, load that bitch up. I'm pretty sure the animal will die by the time uh, the blood loss wears off, right? Incredible. Woo! How heavy is this fucking thing? All right. First of all, we need to field dress this fucking guy. So it lasts a lot longer, first of all. Uh, we are going to shut off our headlamp. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, how much did we waste from this? A bit of bone marrow, that's fine. I won't worry about the liver and stuff. That's gonna ex that's just gonna expire too quickly. There's just too much here. Um The bones I won't worry about right now. Choose item to haul. And then let's get this Am I hauling it? No. Let's get this back to the base. This is a bigger animal than I thought it was going to be. This is huge. This is a way bigger animal than I thought. It's way too big. I thought it was uh, going to be a little bit smaller than that, but... I'm not going to complain about a huge abundance of food. Uh, stop hauling. I'll haul here, stop hauling. Haul here, stop hauling. Now let us do a full butchery on this bison. Sheesh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Chunk of meat, boom. Chunk of meat, boom. Oh, I don't even think we have enough for this. I thought, oh my god. I, well, I did want to make more smoking racks, but we literally do not have enough. Oh, that's a lot of food that's going to get wasted. <sighs> Are you serious? Okay, okay, okay. Bat. I needed to make more. I think. I didn't have enough uh, smoking racks, did I? No, I really didn't. <sighs> small mistake. I'm not afraid to admit that. Very small mistake. But nonetheless, a mistake to be for sure. Damn. Okay. It's 
a lot of smoked meat, that's gonna go bad. Alright. Light this up. Light this up. Light this up. Light this up. I did not mean to remove the food. I do not like that. That is yikes, to say the least. Let us reload this. Light the smoking rack. Light it up. Light it up. Yeah, I know this is absolutely destroying our smoking mask. I mean, our, our gas mask. But there's not much we can literally do about that. Oh, uh, I mean, that's a good amount of meat. And there's not much we could do about that now. The animal has already been butchered, thankfully. Ay, ay, ay. A lot of that's gonna have to become dehydrated for sure. There's no- it's impossible. There's no way. I mean, I did need a hunt, to be extremely honest, but a hunt that big is a little bit unexpected. I knew it was a bison, but shit, man. Ah, very good situation to be in, though. Very good situation to be in. That was very easy and clean of a kill, I must- I must admit. So a bison has been hunted, and Stuart- Stuart? Wow! I'm sort of like this character, it seems. Uh, Waldo, wow! That is, whoo! That's when I know I like the characters, when I start calling them Stuart. That, the Stuart effect. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Waldo here has enough food for a while. Well, crazy, must be the cataclysm putting thoughts in his head. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but yes, other than that though, back to the base building, because as you could tell, there's a lot of work to do. Oh my god, there's, there's, there's so much. Okay, wait a minute. Oh god, wait a minute. I need to process that fat. Oh god. I don't even think- I don't, I don't think this is possible. Like, this, that alone is going to be the longest part, by far. All this stuff we don't care about. The bones, I'm okay with. The bone marrow and stuff, like, there's- like, that's all gonna get wasted. I mean, to be fair, we can kind of just use it as a... As a burnable resource, if you ask me, right? So stop hauling. Let us drop all of our beautiful, beautiful gear. Actually, let us activate our electron overflow. Yeah, we need to drop a bunch of stuff. We're gonna drop all this stuff right now. We don't need it. Uh, we're gonna drop... What, what was I gonna drop? I'm a little... Hello? Brain? Oh yeah, my armor, because I'm an absolute moron. There we go. Cargo pants, hood, boom. I think that's everything. Yeah, we're now we're cool. We're gonna we're even gonna drop our tech combat boots. We don't we just don't need them on. Alright. Let us throw in all the bone marrow. Yeah, we're just gonna toss in all of this shit. This is all burnable. Right, we, we really have no use for most of this stuff. Move all 291. <sighs> okay, we need we need actual wood in there. Um, sticks will do, I guess. And then short wooden posts, that will do. We'll also open up the window because we are cooking. We're going to be roasting alive for sure. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Let us make some... Ooh! Yeah, we can make a jar of pickled meat. That's fine. Now that's- that's cooking! Alright. So we could do, uh, can we do more pickle? All right, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Okay, that's still working, that's still working. Let's make, uh, I guess lard? I guess lard would be the quickest thing to make. Or towel, no, let's just make lard. One day? Oh my god, dude! Oh, it's so much shit. We need people, man! We need people to help us cook, dude! Jesse, we need to cook! <laughs> <laughs> 
God. <coughs> <coughs> what about cracklings? Eight hours for 50 chunks of meat. And how long does this whack for? Uh, I want I want a couple of hours. I actually don't want that much time. I want five hours. So I want to be able to run back and use our smoking racks one last time, hopefully. Hopefully, anyways. Yes, I know this is going to make us super thirsty, but it's fine. We have literally infinite water. I'm just going to say it. We can boil water with an atomic coffee maker if down bad enough. But this is a lot of food. All right. Let us... And is this, how is this doing? Chunks of meat? Wait a minute, did I? Oh shit, I did not light that back up. Oh, you idiot! It's fine. fine all right so we can remove the food from there we can insert about i guess 40 uh no 50 more right and we can light that up good good any of these with a bit of extra in there uh this can do i think 38 yep okay i think this is can a little bit more as well. I think this is about 20 for 3,000. Yes. And this is also 20. It's going to be a lot less food. But, I mean, let's be honest here. Getting any of this stuff preserved is going to be kind of a big deal. Oh, no. We already put food in there. Actually, let's uh, let's remove this. Jesus, it's a little bit slow, but it's fine. Reload with charcoal, we'll do 12k, because that's a stack right there. We'll do this as well, reload this. That's another 12,000, that's another whole stack that can be cooked. Reload with charcoal, let's do, I think, five, uh, 4,000. 300 right i think that's a good amount wow holy crap i actually remember the exact amount almost uh that's sad <laughs> <coughs> all right let's remove the food from here i think we could do 60 now wait so 40 would be 6,000. i think 45 so 46 or i mean 46 i mean 46 no, 46. 44? Yeah, I guess that works. Uh, boom, boom. That's a lot. We can insert in there. Boom, 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 boom. That's a lot more we can insert in there. And then, boom. Again, this is quite a bit of meat that we are losing out on. But, let's be honest here, uh, did I, did I actually, uh-oh. Wait a minute, did I actually just do that by accident? Uh, okay, no, no, we're still charging, I guess. I have no idea what the fuck. Uh, I guess we could put the batteries in here. I have no idea. But this is a lot of this is a lot of smoked meat here, which is very very nice. Ah. Oh, this is gonna take too long. One forty-eight. Thank you very much. And I think we could just light these all up. I'm gonna have to. I think. Stop hauling. Let's move all the smoked meat into there. And now we can turn these all on. Oh, no, never mind. We still have, we still have a whole stack more. But, yep. Let's light this up. Light these up. Light these up. Again, very sad 
to admit 22 more hours. Yeah, this is for sure going to rot before then. I guess we're going to have to just close that door for now. Just ditch all this meat. Which is a real shame, but there's really nothing we can do about that 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 fact. Okay, let's drop all the smoked meat into this pile right here. There we go. Let's stop hauling. So much food, it's actually kind of insane. That was a very good haul. Thank you very much, game. All right, let's go eat some cracklings, and I'm going to absolutely turn these back on again. And same thing with spark sites. And we're just going to live off cracklings for as long as we can. Uh, and continue working on the base anyways, because that was very important. That was kind of like, yeah, we need that. We need that. Woo! All right, we need to make some tallow or lard. Lard will last a lot longer, right? Oh, it's literally a day. Dude, that's insane that we can. Oh my God, what about oil? I'm pretty sure we can boil this all to oil, right? That's a lot easier for us to do. Yes, we'll do that then. We'll just process all the fat into oil. I think that's going to be the smartest idea. I mean, let's be honest here. We need it. Oh, uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We just got ourselves a crazy thing as we were finishing this up. What did we just get? Your spirits of knowledge of crafting and manipulating magical energies to cast electron overflow has opened your eyes to new possibilities. You can now cast re-energize. Take your own energy into power for a vehicle or appliance. Okay, we're just, yeah, this is like an insane statistical improbability. And we just charge batteries. Actually kind of crazy. Good to know. Very good to know. Wow. Okay. So we'll have some water to fight that off. Uh, what else are we going to do? We have a lot of stuff that we just finished up. Uh, there's just a lot happening in my brain. Sorry about that, everybody. It's just, it's, this is just a lot. And then we could do this one a couple more times. Another four hours of boiling down fat. Love this.
Oh, shit! All that hide got- I think I threw all the hide into the fire. Yeah, that's exactly what has happened, isn't it? Shit. I mean, hey, it's not that big of a deal, because we could easily just get, like, leather and stuff like that. It's really not that difficult. Only if we were, like, in an actual situation where getting leather would be difficult, it would suck, but... We got the food. The food is what we need more than anything else, all right? We are using a ton of calories, and it seems that the psychic abilities use a lot of calories as well, which is kind of good to know. 901 smoked meat. Yikes, dude. That's a shitload of smoked meat. I think it's so much smoked meat and fat that we're going to have to, you know, actually throw some of this away. Let's move 80. 80. But that's just, that's just what we're going to have to do. We need to make this a de dehydrated meat as well. All right, let's reload with this. Let's do 12,000. And we'll just do the rest. Doesn't really matter. Let's also add more logs to this place. So now we got two more sets of dehydrated meat coming. Every little bit matters. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of food we're going to be burning through. But it's going to be very, very much worth it. You gained a level in spark sight. Nice. That's actually really good. We can just naturally and slowly level this stuff up. Uh, could we do pain suppression? I guess so. You gained a level in pain suppression. Oh, very nice. That is actually huge. Okay, so let us get some more food into our body. I guess now we can actually start making these wooden walls. Oh yeah, we need we need nails. Okay, that's that's what we're always gonna need more of is the nails, I believe. Yeah, that's that's for sure what's gonna be the case. So let's actually just haul this stuff back outside because we're definitely gonna need all this stuff. I threw up, really sad. Poor Waldo having a bad time. Do not worry, my little friend. You will get all the rest you need. All right, eat more cracklings. That's. You vomit, just stuff more cracklings in your body, okay? It's, that's the technique. Uh, we need nails. How many nails do we have? Now this is a pretty good pickup right here. We got ourselves a level, I mean a workbench, which should help us significantly help us craft bigger and better things. Uh, but yeah, other than that though, back to that, because that is huge.
Alrighty, seems like we got ourselves one more zombie to deal with. And we're almost done the upgrading of the base, honestly. It's a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. But uh, nonetheless, it is happening. Let us de-equip our spear so we're able to move stuff a little bit quicker. Uh, actually, we should just cut through here, right? Is, there, is this all look good loot? It's all just a bunch of loot. Right? We don't really care about that. Put this all out here. We're going to stop hauling. I'm pretty sure there was more wooden stuff in here, right? There's, There's got to be. It's... Yeah, okay, that's that's what I was expecting. That's what I'm more expecting. Okay. So yeah, let us sort this out. And continue on finishing up what, what we can anyways before the end of this episode. Because uh, I'm not going to worry about pits and stuff, actually. We have a lot more defenses than I thought. And we're just going to go for the, the long haul. Ow! Feral human being an absolute cuck. I don't even know where the hell he came from, but it is what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, we also need to get some water in our body because it is a little bit hot right now. And when I say a little bit hot, it is it is overwhelmingly hot. What the hell? Why is there another feral human? What the fuck are they, where are these feral humans coming from? What the hell is going on? I'm pretty sure I did nothing to call anybody. Okay. Very strange. Very, very strange. Uh, we're still looking for nails. I don't know how many nails we actually have at our disposal, to say the very least. But it should be a pretty good amount. Never mind. We have no nails at our disposal right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to search down one of the burning the buildings that we burnt down. And hopefully that will provide us the nails that we require.
Um... I just heard a zombie die, which is... I'm not complaining. But it does tell us just how often things are roaming around our base. Just like, just naturally, I guess. And yeah, uh, a zombie has fallen into the pit and has perished. Wow, that is very good to know. We'll remove that really quick. And boom, just like that. This area is basically secure. Like, 100% secure. We're also going to haul these inside really quick. Uh, maybe we don't really need this anymore, either. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let us activate the step ladder. Boop. Yeah, looking fantastic. Let's build a door. Let's reinforce the door. Uh, let us build the window. Okay, now we need more planks, which is, to be very honest, very fair. We have been going kind of crazy with that. Uh, choose items to haul. Give me all your planks. Actually, I need one plank here. I need one plank here. And I might just keep a plank, like, right here. Uh, whoa, we got another one. Cloak of Warmth. Let's activate that. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna use that, though. That is just, we're just unlocking that for now. But that's really, really good to know. I did not know we had another ability unlocked. Or maybe I did and I just never paid attention, which is probably the case. But from what I could tell, let us get our pain suppression going, our spark site going, and our electronic overflow. And let's read some fucking books. Alrighty, everyone. That is it for the base. We are fully healed. We're done. We're not doing any more. Uh, next episode, I think we're planning on probably going back to... 
Maybe the fungal town. Oh, you know what? We're going to check out the private resort next episode. Or the mansion, actually. I kind of want to check out either of those areas to be very... Or the FEMA camp. We have a lot of options. Since now Waldo is fully prepared, uh, the base is absolutely secure now, let's be honest. Right? I mean, look at the base now compared to what it was before. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. This is much safer. There is no entry points they can walk in. There's nothing. They are literally stuck outside of our base now. Which is good. Uh, and we needed it because it seems that zombies were very much inclined in visiting us. Which is kind of crazy. But, other than that though everybody, I think Waldo is going to take a bit of a break. Uh, he's going to sleep, and then we're going to end the episode off here, because that was it. I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure that he was basically healed up for the next episode, but we have done above and beyond, and I just wanted to finish up the base. I don't really have any uh, alternative plans, other than just doing all that extra bit of work, because now we can get a solar farm on, our, on the other building, which is really, really cool, I think. You know, using multiple buildings just for one base is going to be pretty fucking nifty, if you ask me. Maybe we can even make it like a... Like a refugee center for people we can't trust entirely. Oh, ye... Yes. Okay, I have discovered something pretty annoying with our... Uh, what's it called? Uh, sleep CBM. It makes it so that we can't use inhalers right away, which is very fair. So we just take a puff of our inhaler and we're good to go. We're just, we're just fine. But it is, it is something we need to be wary of. Uh, we do have all the meat here. Let's remove this. Remove this. Yeah, we have a lot of food. This is not a joke. I think this may provide us the entire time. Like, we don't need to hunt for a very long time. To be extremely honest. Like, how long does this have? Less than three... Three seasons, man! Yeah, that's... That's gonna last fucking ages, man. That's... That's a lot of food that we got made. Uh, that's done. We're also going to need to get more wood at some point because we burnt through it all for processing that one animal. But we're going to get that done, I think, in fall. It's a little bit too hot for, for that kind of stuff right now. Let us get our smartphone going. Actually, you know, let's just, let's just take a little bit of a nap. You know, rest up. Oh, we actually fell asleep. That's kind of wild. Okay. That thumbs up. That's okay with me. <laughs> I'm also thinking since it's way too hot to go on the surface right now, it's 28 degrees, we might go into that lab next episode where the captain is at. I would like to at least deal with one of them. I want to see just how dangerous they are. We have to, right? Waldo is ready. He's ready to take on most likely his biggest threat in, in, in the entire run so far. Um... Just, just making that very fucking clear. Oh, we also have the shotgun on us, which I gotta drop. Ditched that really quick. I completely forgot I've been carrying a shotgun on us the entire time. The bat was great for building stuff, but we don't need that anymore. And, you know, let's just, let's just drop everything. You know, drop all the stuff that we don't need and get prepared for next episode, because this is it. Right. I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified about fighting one of those guys. I've been holding off as long as I can. I did, I did promise if we had, uh, the cybernetics installed... Maybe we can go back there, but ah, fuck me. I know I want. I know we have to go back there, right? We need to search the lab for autoclave pouches, right? Because that that lab is packed with, with what I remember is a shitload of uh, tons and tons of scientists in there, and we did no looting, right? We ran in there and we ran out because of what we saw, we got scared. Right, so there could be tons of good- There could be like fucking 30 million autoclave pouches in there, we're just too stupid. Right. But, we do need to search that lab. So I think that's gonna be our next goal, because it's hot as hell right now. 28 degrees Celsius is not good exploration weather. Especially with our activity suit and etc, etc, right. But yeah, other than that though, Waldo has finished up his base. 
Uh, let's just take one more one more house tour because I'm just I just love it so much. Right, we got this area sealed off with beautiful, beautiful gates. We got all this sealed off. I might seal off the entire house to be extremely honest. Maybe build a wall here or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do something for this later on, but not right now. And yeah, this whole base is looking spiffy. The inside here is completely filled. We got doors and boarded up windows everywhere. Not a single gap. All right. If zombies want to break in, they're going to have to break in the good old-fashioned way. All right, They're not just going to walk into our house anymore. We also got an emergency gate here. We got another emergency gate here because I don't want them ever using this. Ever. The only thing I expect them to ever break through would be this side. Right? And that's why we have the upstairs right here. Because zombies don't know how to do this. They don't know how to climb step ladders. They're too stupid. Which is perfect. And then we just go up here, and boom! Right, so we have multiple exit points, we have multiple ways to, to stall for time, and we have multiple ways to prevent them from ever coming in. So yeah, this base is fully made. Other than that, Waldo will definitely be seeing you all next time. What an amazing episode. I mean, it was a boring one. I do not blame people for skipping it entirely. That's why I, I did a big warning at the beginning. But yes, the building is done for now, because... We're fully healed, and we're fully ready to go. Other than that, Waldo, Onyx, and Black Quartz will be seeing you all next time. In the new base, baby! Woo! <laughs>